I'm going to go over the steps on how to repair a leak if you have a ball style single handle faucet. And the first thing we need to do is get the handle off. So there's going to be a little cap on this style that you pull off first. And then you're just going to use an Allen wrench and you're going to loosen that set screw. Once you loosen that set screw, the handle comes off. And what we have is a retaining cap that holds the ball in place. And all we're going to use is a channel lock and it has a serrated body here to grab onto. And you can also put a piece of cloth over this. Or another trick I like to use is just get a little electrical tape and wrap the jaws, and that way it'll grab this without scarring it. And once we remove this cap, it's going to allow us to get to the cam. And there's two different shapes, so make sure that you take this off first or look at it before you run to the hardware store and this has a rubber washer and then a plastic guide on top for the ball and then that allows us to get to the ball so if you've had a leak out of the spout and it's dripping first thing we're going to want to do is clean this off so get a little vinegar or a little CLR something to remove any of the minerals or any buildup on this ball and then we're going to have two seats inside of here one for the hot side and one for the cold side and you're just going to use any little thin tool. I like these monkey hooks. This is actually to hang on the wall. These monkey hooks do a nice job uh, just to get in here. And we're going to pull out the two seats. So you're going to have two seats and two springs that you're going to get replaced. So if it's leaking out of the spout, the first thing you want to do is replace these seats. And this pushes against the ball. And when it's flat against the metal, it turns the water off. And when it moves to one of these holes, it allows water to flow. So if you have a leak out of the spout, remove the two seats, change them, and then put it back together. Now if you have a leak out of the handle, what we're going to want to do is replace this cam washer, and there's a couple styles, so again bring this with you, and this will stop a leak coming out of the handle, and then you're also going to have to remove the o-ring, and you're going to have one or two o-rings that you pull out and replace. And if you change out the O-rings, make sure you pick up some plumber's grease. You don't want to use Vaseline or any petroleum products because it'll actually swell up and shorten the life of the O-rings. So use a plumber's grease, a silicone grease. It's going to keep these lubricated. It's going to allow your spout to move easy. And when you put this back on over the new O-rings, it's going to keep it from getting scarred. And if you if you nick those new o-rings it's going to possibly leak out of the handle so those are the steps if you have a ball style single handle faucet